A grandmother connected to the Ohio massacre will now cooperate with prosecutors. It comes after Rita Newcomb admitted that she lied to protect her daughter. And Jeanette Levy reports for us tonight from Pike County. Today's plea deal was not a complete surprise. It was clear two weeks ago when Rita Newcomb's trial was canceled as jury selection was set to begin that a plea deal might be in the works. And today, Newcomb admitted to lying to the grand jury and investigators about signing custody documents for her two great grandchildren. Appearing nervous and at times tearful, Rita Newcomb awaited the start of the hearing that would bring her criminal case to an end. As this court knows, um, Ms. Newcomb was charged with three counts of forgery um, regarding three separate custody documents um, that are at issue in this case. All of the felony charges against Newcomb were dismissed. Prosecutors say a handwriting analyst determined that Rita Newcomb did not sign the custody documents. At this time, she has acknowledged to us that she, in fact, was not the individual who signed those documents um, using her name. In fact, Newcomb said her daughter, Angela Wagner, the suspected mastermind of the Roden murders, asked her to lie about signing those documents. I just feel that it's not a good Christian thing to lie, and I couldn't have put it no more. The documents appointed a guardian for the little girl Hannah Roden shared with Jake Wagner and the son of George Wagner in the event any of them died. Prosecutors have said custody is the heart of the motive in the murders and that the documents were forged less than three weeks before the Rodens were killed. Newcomb appeared relieved, hugging her attorney. She can't talk to any Wagner family members and a gag order remains. Rita, anything you can tell us at all? No, thanks, honey. I'm not allowed to talk. Were those tears of relief in there? The fine details of this plea agreement are sealed by the court. So at this point, we don't know whether or not Newcomb will be required to testify at the trials of her daughter, son-in-law, and two grandsons who are all charged with killing the rodents. In Waverly, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News.